left your message, just hang up, or for more options, press 1 at any time. I've known John Westwood for many, many years. That gentleman is fine. He is a brilliant guy. At football, he's a lunatic. Ball smooth! People make him out to be the wrong sort of person. He has actually a great persona. first game I went to uh, was in 1976, I was 13 and it was Boxing Day, home to Brighton and uh, it was just fantastic, 32,000 crowd and uh, the place was just rocking and I just thought, unbelievable, I knew right from then that I wanted to be a Pompey fan until I died. The land was fantastic, knowledge and being there brilliant, it's a, it's a supporters club. You know, he's the bloke in the big, big hat and all that, like, you know, everybody knows him throughout the world I think. John's Pompey. My name's John Anthony Portson Football Club, Westwood, 46, and I was born in Liss in Hampshire, which is a shame, really, because my brother and sister were both born in St Mary's in Pompey. Football's my passion. I mean, obviously, it's my life, football's my life, but I'm lucky to be able to have two passions, really, because I've got a passion for books, and I love the books, I love the trade. And uh, the beauty of this trade is you learn something new every day. You're always learning something in this trade. I mean, I love old things. I love old buildings and, and obviously old books. And of course, you've been, I've grown up with it, so it's in the blood, really. And uh, it's just a fantastic trade to be in. It's like, it's, it's like in a time warp, the book trade. I mean, even the business practices now all haven't changed much over the years. I changed my name because I like uh, Ports and Football Club's my life. I mean, everything about me, I, I just love the club. It was an extension and passion for the club to incorporate it in my name. I just thought it was completely natural. Even though my family and friends thought it was completely barking, to me, I've never had a problem with it. And uh, if something is your life, why not incorporate it in your name? Use it every day. I just love everything upon me. I just, it's another, again, it's an extension of passion for the club. I just love every, everything about collecting stuff on Pompey, whether it be watches, whether it be pennants, scarves, hats, mugs, whatever. I just like to have it in the room. The business owns basically this building which incorporates the flat which I live in and the tattoo shop downstairs which used to be part of the bookshop. I was chatting to a mate who was tattooing at the time, he wanted the shop to go in and they do piercings down there. So from our point of view we're getting a rent, I've got a flat out of it and we've got an investment for the future in the building. And I've always liked tattoos ever since I was a kid. I used to see the geezers with tattoos on. But I was all scared of needles. I didn't have my first tattoos until I was about 25. And once I had them, I had to have more. I, I, I like the look as well. I just I, I think it's a it's a geezer thing, tattoos. And it, it's, just, it's a, at football when I was younger, I used to see all these geezers with tattoos. And I, it was just it was just a thing I like. I like the look of it. I like the, but it does represent me. Portsmouth and Football Club's my life as I changed my name by Depop. So they have Pompey all over me, it's just another extension of my passion. I've been ejected from a few grounds because in the Premiership especially, where I've stuck out and uh, making a noise and nowadays football's becoming a bit PC and they don't like people who stick out, make too much noise, show a bit of passion. And some grounds you go to, I mean, I, Saturday, for instance, I was up at Middlesbrough, I got kicked out, and I've sat down in my seat, and I'm right at the back of the Pompey fans, and uh, the steward came up to me and says, you're on CTV, sit down, uh, or we're going to throw you out, and I said, well, everyone in front of me is standing up, so I've got to stand up, so otherwise I might be a seat the game. Anyway, to cut a long story short, they weren't having it, and they said, oh, that's right, and they used the word, you're the ringleader, and I said, well, I just sing for me club. I went down at half-time, and... They asked me to come over and see them, and they just pushed me out the doors. I've only been married once, and that was enough. <laughs>
no, no, if I'm honest, I married once and uh, it, was, it was good times, but the football sort of um, came in the way a little bit, if I'm honest. And I'll never forget when we got the ball, she actually said, I thought you'd change, and I said, you should have known me better than that. So, but it's sad, really, but that's life. You, you only get one life, so you've got to live it. I've got two children, my boy's 18 and my girl's 14. Uh, they think I'm nuts, but they, under, they, they understand the passion. They're both Pompey fans themselves. I, I must admit, my character at times does feel like Jekyll and Hyde, because uh, during the week, you know, I have to be mummy P's and Q's, and I have to be polite. And uh, the trade I'm in, the antiquarian book trade, is very sedate. But it's lovely, you know, it's, it's quiet and it's, it's gentlemanly like. It really is old school, the antique book trade. And then at football, I just turned this raving lunatic. So it is, all this, all this gear on and all this sort of stuff. But no, no, the, the, the actual passion from watching football comes from my heart. It comes from nowhere else. I can't describe it. It's just really weird. Ever since that first day, you know, down here watching against Brighton, it's just, I love the football club, I love Portsmouth, it's a working class city. Well, it's what you see is what you get with Pompey, and I, I think that's the same with what I wear. I, I mean, it doesn't matter what I wear, it's, it's just about passion. The whole city is about passion. Dreadlocks and that, they look a bit more wild. Or Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Mum. Hello, so I'll be about a quarter of an hour or so. About a quarter of an hour. Okay, love you, bye.